guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i wanted to try something different i'm a little scared but uh, i think it'll be fun so i was watching jamie genevieve on youtube if you don't know who she is you're missing out she does really nice um like grungy glam looks um and she's one of the first like youtubers that i found when i started getting into makeup so i learned a lot from her also but she just posted a video sorry there's a spider <laughs> on the ceiling um she posted a video like last week i think it was called what was it called summer grunge makeup tutorial and i was like I need to do that but it's quite like there's some technique to it so that's what I'm a little worried about but I want to try it anyway and I'm not I don't think I'm going anywhere today so if it doesn't end up <laughs> looking good then that's fine I was just watching the video again because I want to do like how she did it but I'll link the video below um, so you can see what I'm talking about. Thing is, I don't have any of the products that she used. She used a lot of her own brand, um, Vive, which I would love to have things from there. I just haven't purchased anything yet because I believe I, when I check the site, the prices, like if you convert them to Canadian, plus like shipping and all that was like a little too much for me. Although some like a lot of her products look really nice, especially the eyeshadow palette. I would love to have that because I think I would use it a lot. But yeah, so I don't have any of the products she used, but I think I can find things that I already own that will kind of do the same thing. So first thing what I'm gonna do is put my umber tint on because I need to put some SPF on. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I used a retinol last night and I'm in front of the window and I just, that freaks me out. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on. Whoa, that just went everywhere. And this product does give me a glow anyway and she used like a pretty glowy foundation from what I could tell. I just have to always make sure that I blended that in because um, sometimes the pigments that are in it, because it's tinted, they leave streaks on your face. Oh yeah, see right here? That's like the pigment, so you just have to make sure it's blended in. I'm also adding that to my project pan because I I was keeping it in my project pen like little container but I don't think I ever mentioned it in my project pen and I think it's because like I don't have a SPF category so I'm gonna add one in to make sure that I always have an SPF on hand because I need to be using SPF um, every day really. Let me just check what what is the name? of that foundation she used. Yeah, Kevin Aquine, Kevin Aquine, I don't know how people say it, because in French it would be Aquine, but I don't know. The Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation. So I don't have that product, but I want to use my um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy mixed with my Flower Heat Wave Bronzing Essence. I used this yesterday, but I did not like the primer that I used with it, which was the Kaja Dream Puff. I am decluttering this, spoiler alert, for my next Shop My Stash video because it just does not work on my dry aging skin. So I wanted to try this again without using that to see if I like it. I mean, I already know I like this foundation, but um, I don't know if these two, if it did anything. I'm still trying to figure out like how I should use this product, but let's try it again. So this product is like, it comes on a paddle. So my original plan was to like mix the two products together and then put it on my face, but because this is a paddle, 
and the other product is a dropper. It doesn't... Like, I'd have to do it on my hand, but then I would lose all the product because I'd have to mix it on my hand. Anyway, it's a long <laughs> explanation. So what I did is I just, like, put the paddle on. Then, with the dropper, which is not that easy because... The formula is quite thick to be in a kind of dropper like this, like, see, there's nothing in there. You have to, like, somehow get the product in. Look, I got nothing. So, these bottles never work. I don't know why <laughs> brands keep doing this. I mean, it looks cool, but it's very not functional. Yeah, I'm not getting anything in the dropper itself. So I'm just going to like rub this, like dot it on actually. I don't know. <laughs> so it looks like that. And then I just blend it all together on my face. So. Um, I'm actually, I'm not like trying to put that bronzing essence only where I would normally put bronzer because I'm actually using it to kind of darken up the foundation as well because I feel like that shade is too light for me especially in the like warmer months when I have like some sun. Yeah, it's not like the easiest to apply those two products in that way because the formulas are different like the textures are different so they don't like blend super well you have to kind of work it in so i don't know if you guys have this flower the flower heat wave bronzing essence how do you use it do you put it all like all over like a primer I don't know. I think I tried to do that before too, but I don't remember if I liked it or what it did. So there's what it looks like. The shade isn't too bad of a match. I just don't know what, if this <laughs> did anything at all. I can't tell really. other than like make it patchy. On the bottle it says how to use blend a few drops in your foundation or moisturizer for a naturally warm look or wear alone for a soft sun-kissed radiance. So I am using it like it says but yeah I guess you kind of do have to mix it up together and then apply it to your face. But I like like the overall look. I really like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy, not the, well I don't know if I like the original one because I never tried it because I have dry skin so I just automatically want the dewy version of anything so, but I really like it and it's also really affordable. I don't remember the price in Canadian but I think in US it's like five dollars and something so yeah. So the next thing she used she put powder on her face, which I don't do because I have dry skin, like I say a million times in every video. So I'm not going to do that because she powdered like her T-zone, I believe. If anything, the only place I ever powder is my under eye, um, but I haven't really been doing that lately either. So I'm just going to go in with my concealer. I don't have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is the one she used, but what can I use instead? I think I'm just going to use my Tarte Aqua Sealer that you've seen many times because it's in my project pan. And this isn't necessarily like a Radiant Concealer, but it's like very lightweight and hydrating, I guess. So I start by just putting like 
a dot on each side. And then if it's not enough, which usually it isn't, I put another dot on the um, outer, bottom outer corner, I guess. Yesterday, I actually forgot to put concealer on. I did my whole makeup and I was like, oh, I didn't put concealer on and I didn't even notice. So, I don't know, maybe my, my Tatcha Pearl under eye thing is actually doing something because I didn't even feel like I needed it, I guess. And I'm just gonna use my uh, Make It Forever Matte Velvet Skin just to cover any spots. Okay, so that's the base. I think it looks pretty like illuminating. Um, for bronzer, she used the Benefit Hula Caramel bronzer. I don't have the caramel version, but I have just the original Hula bronzer. So I'm gonna use this today. This is in my project pan, so um, I've only used it, I think, once since I put it in here. Oh, my face is itchy. I'm gonna use this Alamar, Alamar bronzer brush. It has like these like um, bumps on it, which is pretty cool. I've seen that before in like skincare brushes, but never in a bronzer brush. So, and it's like a good size to fit in this container. I think this is a small, size of the hula? I hope so because that is not a lot of product. Okay. I think hula is like one of the more deeper bronzers that I have in my collection so I'm not, I don't want to put too much and then, you know, ruin something. I like this brush, it's very soft. And she put some on her nose too. Okay, I think that's good for now. So for her blush, she used her brand Vive, the Sunset Blush in Pesca. I don't have that, like I said, but I know it's like a peachy shade. So I definitely have a peachy blush. So I'm gonna try and find one that looks like hers. Let's um, so I got out these two blushes um, because her blush looks more like a neutral peach so I don't know if this is maybe too much. This is the Too Faced Papadome Peach. This is like one of my favorite blushes in my collection but it's very like pinky peach maybe and very shimmery. Um, and then I looked at this one. This is actually called um, So Natural. It's the MAC Glow Play Blush. So, but I do feel like it is a bit peachy leaning, don't you find? Um, this to me looks more similar to what she used. So I think I'm gonna use this today. This would be a nice like summer blush anyway. Okay, I think that's better. <laughs> You can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to use my usual BH 110 brush. And I honestly don't remember anything about this. But I have been wanting to pull it out. I'm pretty sure her blush is a lot more pigmented than these MAC ones are from what I've seen like on her channel and other people on YouTube. Um, but I think it's like a pretty close shade match. At least it gives a similar effect even though it's not the same shade. And she does apply her blush um, more like in this motion, like up here I find, 
which is how I like to do it lately also. So I like that. Um, but I also bring it across my face. I mean, it's not that peachy, but I think the eyes are more like the star of the show, which you'll see. And she did use also her own highlighter. It was a powder highlighter. I don't remember like the tone of it. She even put blush like up here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty similar to Becca Opal from what I can tell. It has like a bit of more golden tone. She said it was the medium shade. I don't know, this looks kind of like it could work. She does have a more like medium skin tone, I would say. So for me, like Opal is leaning more into being a bit deeper highlighter on my skin. That's why I only usually wear it in the summer. Um, so yeah, I think this will be a good one to use. I also have Prosecco Pop, which I thought was going to be too deep for me, but I really like this one too. This one is more like peachy, has a peachier undertone. Mm. But I think, yeah, I'm gonna use Opal today. And I do like to use this one with a fan brush just to make it more like subtle, but her look is very high lady. So I'm gonna use my Milani all over blending brush because it's a bit like denser. We'll pick up more product. Yeah. Yeah, you can see like it is more golden leaning, I feel. So I'm pretty much just applying how I would normally do my highlighter, but she did do something similar. Um, she applies a lot of highlighter up here, which I do like to do, but I always just like, I don't add more product when I do that. I just blend upwards into that area from what I put on my, cheekbone because I also I don't want to enhance like any lines that I have on my forehead <laughs> so that's why I do that I think that's enough <laughs> I am getting pretty good use on this opal if you can see there's starting to be like a dip in it not a dip but I don't know I'm pretty happy with my progress because this is another product that's in my project pan if you didn't know so I think at this point, after she applied all her base products, is when she put her setting spray. I'm just going to watch the part after she applied all of her base because I think that's when she puts her setting spray on. Yes, so she put the All Nighter setting spray on from Urban Decay. I do have that somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I have just a little travel size, but I'm not, I don't think you need that setting spray. I know that's just one of her favorites, but I'm not going anywhere, like I said, so I don't need necessarily a long lasting setting spray. So I think I'm just gonna use the one that's in my shop, my stash. It's my Rose Drench. But this is actually a toner and a refresher. It's called from Hard Candy because it has hyaluronic acid and rose water in it. It's like the Marilyn Monroe collection. Um, yeah, I'm just using this because it's right next to me. Plus, I've only used it once since it, it was in my shop, my stash. It's very wet. <laughs> so another one that I have to hold extremely far away. Um, I think I would maybe consider switching this out to my skincare at some point because I like that it's hyaluronic acid and rose water because rose water is supposed to be really good for your skin and I don't necessarily think it does anything in the way of setting spray other than like maybe make it look more hydrated which is always good but yeah I don't know we'll have to see. So that's the the base. I like everything so far. I mean, those are all products that I already knew that I liked pretty much. So 
we'll just keep going. Okay, so she said after she puts setting spray, she goes back in with powder. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that, but yeah, I'm not going to put any powder on today. I was thinking maybe I would put some just to set my concealer, but I'm worried. This, that uh, concealer, this one, it just really is not a good one to mix with powder, so I don't want to mess anything up, so I'm going to skip that step. But if you have oily skin, you might want to do that too. Just to make sure like everything is set and won't budge. Okay, yeah. So now it's time for the eyes. <laughs> I'm scared. So she used her new uh, Vive Eye Wands, which are basically like shadow sticks. Um, she used one shade to like set her lids. And then she went in with a lighter shade to use as a, the base for the look. So what I'm going to do is use my Urban Decay Primer Potion for the setting part. This won't necessarily add like any coverage, but I do want to use it as a primer. It has a slight tint. But the one that she used was more like a skin tone shade, maybe like a cool tone. So then what she did is she took a lighter shade of her eye wands and she used it to kind of do a cut crease and like a winged out shape on the end. So wish me luck. I have no idea if this is going to work because um, I've never done this before. So I'm using the Mali Evercolor Shadow Stick Extra Velvet in the shade Ivory. I got this in a boxy charm. I think I used it in a video, but only for like a, a waterline eyeliner. I've never used it like as a shadow stick, so this should be interesting. But I do think this looks very similar to the shade that she used. So she just drew it on directly with the oh, <laughs> with the stick. I'm scared. So kind of like that, and then winged it out on the end. Okay, but so let's keep doing this, and this part doesn't have to be like super perfect because you're gonna use. A brush to like fix it later but it's more like you're doing it for the shape so she kind of did something like that maybe this shade is more beige than what she used but it doesn't matter because we're covering it with eyeshadow. So let me just see how she like perfected that because right now that's what it looks like. So yeah, she says she just chucked it on and then she used a flat eyeshadow brush to blend it. So I'm going to use this billion dollar brushes concealer brush because it's flat and just kind of smooth it out. but. Don't change like the main shape. So this is what it's looking like. I feel like I blended the wing part out maybe a bit too much so I'm just going to add a bit more and she said like it didn't need to be perfect because you're just using this as something for your shadow to stick down to so I hope this works out <laughs> So I'm going to do this eye. I'll, I'll continue with this eye and do the other one off camera. So then she took 
um, a shadow from her palette, which is very similar to the shade in my subculture palette. This shade, New Wave. It's like, kind of like a sunflower yellow, more like grungy. So this is the first palette I thought of when I was thinking like what shade I can use to dupe that one. And I think this has like a similar vibe. So she went in with um, another flatter, like a smaller brush and she just patted the shadow. So I'm gonna try and do it quickly cause I don't want this to be dry. Okay, so just patting the shade down all over where I put the base. So now that I see it, I guess her shade was a bit more yellow. Look a bit brighter, but that's okay. It's the wing part that's tricky. Because you kind of have to have some control. Okay, I think that's... Um, that's okay. I don't know if I like the shape that I did. Because my eye gets very round on the edge here. So I kind of wish I made this go up a bit more. It's kind of just like down if you know what I mean but I think I got the idea actually it is quite similar the shade if you see yes. okay she said it looks a bit nuts so I'm, I'm glad because yeah <laughs> does look a bit nuts right now okay so what she did next is she took an angle brush um like this and she stamped like a mid-tone brown shade along the edge. So I don't, yeah, the brown in the subculture palette is too deep. It's this one here, fudge. Um, I need something lighter. I think this will work. This is my chocolate bar palette. The shade Melt Chocolate. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? So I'm just stamping Did she go all the way in? She didn't go all the way in. She went kind of like to here. Okay. That looks crazy. <laughs> but we're gonna blend it out. Sorry the lighting keeps changing because I'm looking at the video and then I'm coming back. So then she put the brush on its side and blended upwards. just to like soften it. So then she went in with an even lighter brown and like buffed that line out with a pencil brush. So I have this one here, something like this. I suppose this shade would work. The shade Hazelnut, I think that's a good shade to blend out with. But you do kind of still want the line to be noticeable because that's the point of a cut crease. So you're not trying to like blend this into this one really. You're just softening the line a bit. I don't know. I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay, so basically what she did now is she just 
um, she went back in with the deeper brown to get the line back in and then wherever like there's like a dip or something you can go back in with the base so for me it would be the the shadow stick and then go back in with the shade again just to define everything so I'm gonna do that I mean I don't think you need to see that on camera it's just a lot of more like details and it depends on like your own eye shape anyway so I'm gonna try and fix that to the best of my abilities and do the other eye and then we'll come back to finish the look okay so <laughs> this is what we have um, my brows look crazy today I don't know what happened I use the same Benefit Cabral with my Essence Make Me Brow and they look very weird. I don't know. But we're not done yet so um, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Uh, I didn't think I'd be able to recreate the same shape on this eye but it was actually pretty easy. Because um, like Jamie said, you just kind of follow the shape of your eye with the the base and it kind of just like works itself like based on your bone structure and all that. So I just kind of did that and then I just did the exact same thing um, and I went um, back in after with a bit more of the deeper brown just to like because it kind of blended that line away and I wanted it to be more sharp. So this is how it looks. It's not perfect. Um, but I'm happy with it so far. I think it's going to come together. So now she did a wing, which is another thing I never do and I'm very <laughs> scared. So she used the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I think I have that, so let me check. Um, that it's not dried out. Okay, I can't find it. I was sure I had a mini size, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to use the one that's in my project pen. This is actually like a, a inkwell liner, so one where like the ink is in the bottom here. Um, and you dip it in. And Trooper is like a pen liner, but I mean you should have the same effect in the end because I'm just going to draw a wing but the good thing is you already have the shape to follow from doing the shape that you did for the eye so I'm going to try that and see how it works scared I think I'm going to use my sponge just to rest I don't know to like kind of hold my I because I'm just gonna follow the shape and then like fill it in after and I don't want to go the whole way oh god I'm scared I hope you can see what I'm doing maybe I should lower this because I have to get very close to the mirror Okay, I already messed up. I should have made that go higher. This eyeliner is really good actually. I like the color and I like the tip. But I'm just bad at liner in general. Oh, I, I messed it up. I mean, it has the right shape, but I didn't... I can't get like a point here without just making it bigger and bigger. So I'm gonna fix <laughs> the end of that with some concealer. Okay, that is not what I wanted to do. Um, no. <laughs> but I'll do the other one and see if it comes together. It's just because of my weird eye shape. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'm back again. Um, I tried to fix that 
as best as I could, but it, I don't know, there's something weird about how the liner dips in like that, you know what I mean? Like it should come out more like this, but that's just the shape of my eye. So I will say if I knew how to do wings, this would be really good because it's so matte and black. Um, it is called like the matte, deep matte liquid liner, so it is very matte. Because a lot of liners say they're matte, but then they dry shiny anyway. Um, but it was difficult to get a point with this brush. But again, it could be just my skills that are lacking. So, um, also in, in her look, Jamie put half lashes on. So I did also attempt to do that off camera. I tried to use my Ardell, um, these magnetic half lashes. It just did not go well. And if you can see now, my eye is all red because I got my own lashes in my eye. And it was a whole thing. I gave up on that idea. I just put more mascara on. But this look would look good with a half lash. It just would like bring it together more, but I don't have the ability <laughs> to do that. I actually saw that now Ardell has a um, magnetic liquid liner and I was going to pick it up because I thought, oh, that would make it way easier to use these and then I probably wouldn't have to use the top and the bottom magnet, just like the first one. But it was $15 and I was like, do I want to spend more money just so I can use something that I already don't know how to use? <laughs> but yeah, I might consider that. Um, so, cause those are really the only half flashes I have. I also pulled out these, but I didn't like how they looked with this like eye look, I guess. These are the effortless, um, the effortless? No, these are Would I Lie Silk Lashes from the Effortless Kit by Velour, but they were like too full. I don't like full lash looks, so I'm just going to skip that. <laughs> but the next thing she did is for her under eye, I already put my bottom mascara on because I didn't remember she did that part, but she went back in with kind of like the same brown she used on the the edge here. And instead of going right under, like right on the waterline, she left kind of a gap to make the eye appear bigger. So I'm gonna try that today. She seems to be using quite a fluffy brush, but it's very small. I have this one. This could be good. This is a Luxie 141 mini round brush. And we're gonna go in with that milk chocolate shade for this. This one here. And I'm gonna try and leave a gap like she did. And she said she only did that on the outer corners. And then for the inner corner, she went back in with her eye wand, the light one. So I'm gonna do that too with mine. And she stamped the inner corner. Yeah, hers was definitely more leaning like white and this is very beige. Um, and then she went in with like the a really light shimmer shade for her highlight. I don't want to use Cube from the Subculture palette because this has like a pink shift. So I'm going to go back in my chocolate bar and use... I guess I'm going to use... Mm -hmm. That's still not really what I want, is it? I think I want something more white.
I actually can't tell if she went in with a shimmer or a matte shade. So now I'm confused. But I guess I'm going to use this then, white chocolate. Because that's um, a matte shade that looks close to what she used. And just help to blend out that shape in the inner corner. Yeah, and then she went back in with the lower lash mascara, which I already did. <laughs> okay, so for lips, she did like a pretty light nude, but she lined her lips first with like a, a more pinky brown liner. So let me get that out and try and find something close to what she used in her look. Okay, so for lips, she used um, her lip liner in the shade Brat. Um, it's described as a pinky brown, so a pinky brown nude or something like that. So I pulled this out. This is the Dominique Cosmetics um, Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner in the shade Crush. I think that's going to be a good shade. And then for the lipstick, it was also... Descri it was described as a peachy nude shade for all skin tones. It was the shade Treasure. Um, I took this out. This is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Sugar. This is not peachy nude, but it looks light enough. Yeah, I don't really know what else to use for that. I don't have a lot of like very light nude lipsticks. A lot of my nudes are more brown. So it was between this and also in my Shop My Stash, I have this ColourPop Animal Crossing Incomparable, but I think that's too deep. Even though it's like a sheer, it's just a tint. So those are the sheer kind of balmy lip products. So I think this will do. Let's I guess you don't need to be that close anymore. <laughs> I have used this before in videos. I don't love it. I don't love the shape of this. If you can focus, please. See, it's like a triangle. It makes it hard to actually use it as a lip liner in the sense that you want to define your lips. Um, but I see how they made it this way to be because it's called a fill fill and define so you can use it all over the lips too. Okay, and then the lipstick. I would love to try her lipstick, um, the Vive ones. Yeah, I think that is a pretty good match. Yeah. This is a very light lipstick. This is, I think, one of my lightest nudes, and I really can't wear it alone, but with this lip liner, it actually looks pretty good. And then she went in with more bronzer, and I think I'm going to do that too, because this is supposed to be a summer look, so I'm going to go back in with my Hoola bronzer. Yeah, and to look at the um, the shade descriptions of her lip products, I did check out <laughs> her website, and the palette is 43 euros. So I think that's why <laughs> I didn't actually get it. Um, maybe one day, if they have a sale or something, or like a free shipping, I don't know. I wish my eye wasn't all red, but yeah. So let me see. I put 
put a lot of dry shampoo in my hair before, so it looks a bit gray cast, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to wear it down because it's just too poofy. See how long it is? I don't know. That's the best I can do, but yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Honestly, I thought it would be more difficult to do the eye look. The hardest part was the liquid liner, and that's just because I never do liquid liner, so it was really like out of my comfort zone, and I've been like out of practice. I think if you are someone that does liquid liner more often, that would then the whole thing would be pretty easy for you. Um, yeah, and I just have to figure out the shape, like, because, yeah, like I said, my eyes are round on the edge and also hooded, like half hooded, I guess you would say. So it's really hard to figure out the best shape for liner for me. But I do like the shape of the cut crease, and I really like this shade um from the subculture palette um yeah but everything else i used today i liked the blush yeah maybe hers was a bit more peachy tone this is very neutral but i like how it fits in with the rest of the look and yeah i think that's it for today so yeah i need to practice or liquid liner and lashes um but also i need to find some lashes that i actually like because a lot of the lashes i have right now i don't find i don't know maybe it's just because i don't use lashes enough they don't look right on my eyes but it might just be me anyway i hope you liked <laughs> this video where i fumbled along and tried to recreate um, Jamie Genevieve's summer grunge makeup tutorial. If you know of any other tutorials that I should try, let me know below. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Almost knocked my table over. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!